Alarming and disturbing. Those are the words being used tonight to describe Cleveland's policing practices. A scathing new report from the federal team monitoring the city found Cleveland police are still struggling to hold officers accountable and meet standards spelled out in the consent decree. The team's concerns mirror our reporting here at News 5, which revealed the department is dangerously understaffed. News 5 investigator, investigator Sarah Buddison in the newsroom tonight. And Sarah, this report found several serious issues. That's right, Courtney. Seven years after monitoring started, the 144-page semi-annual report says Cleveland police are still struggling. It also confirmed what we've been telling you for months. Thanks to the low salary and morale, the department is losing more officers than it's hiring. The semi-annual report found there are, quote, significant and critical areas where Cleveland police remain in non-compliance with the 2015 federal consent decree, including accountability, community relations, and staffing. We told you 404 officers left during the pandemic. The report says the city's not only doing a bad job retaining officers, it found a lack of, quote, coordination and direction when it comes to recruiting officers. It also says police hired people even after red flags turned up in their background investigations. The report comes a month after Mayor Justin Bibb said he wants out of the consent decree. The quickest we can get out of, out of this decree, the better it will be uh, for the police department and uh, the taxpayers so we can kind of use that money to reinvest back in the community long term. But the decision is not up to him. It's over when a federal judge decides it's done. And it seems destined to drag out after this report, which, among other problems, found Cleveland is failing to properly conduct investigations into officer-involved shootings. A glaring example, the report says an officer shot his own partner and lied about it, but was never punished. It also found Cleveland takes too long to investigate complaints against officers and needs to be more transparent with the public. The consent decree is supposed to reduce the use of excessive force by officers, which the report says is happening. The report also acknowledges the city has improved how it deals with people experiencing a mental health crisis. In the newsroom, I'm News 5 investigator Sarah Buddison. Sarah, thank you so much. A lot of work there.